Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll go through the hourly pickups example and I'll look at this information. As you see, I have the number of pickups on each day in January during these hours. So I'm gonna highlight the numbers that are higher than the critical volume, which I have in this cell. So I'm gonna start by naming that cell. I'm just call that critical. And then I'm gonna add a new rule to all, all these cells. Conditional formatting. So I'm gonna highlight the cells that are greater than, and here I'm gonna use this equals critical, which is the name of the cell I just added. And as you see now, it's actually highlighting those numbers. Light red, filled with dark red text. Sounds beautiful, and it does look okay too. So I'll press okay there. And as you see now, it's highlighting all the ones with critical volume. If I change this number, of course, to 2400 instead, then we have a lot less critical items. So that does work. Then we're going to add a slider connected to the critical volume the way to, to make this easier to change to play around with the data. So I'm going to insert a slider. And the way to do that is actually to go use the developer tab. So I'm going to customize the ribbon and choose to display the developer tab there. And on the developer tab, I have all these neat little tools here. So I'm gonna insert a slider. Let's see, the slider is scroll bar. Let's use that, and we can just add that over here. And now I right click on this, uh, format the control, and Let's just put minimum value is zero, maximum value is 3000. And then we can get above that. And uh, the page change should be maybe 100. And the cell link should be to this cell, like that. that. Or, of course, we can use the critical there. Now that means that we can go ahead and change this. Rather beautiful. Now I'm gonna lock this sheet and only allow edits to the critical volume cell, which is this one, of course. So I'm gonna format that cell to allow edits of that. So I'm gonna undo the lock on that particular cell. All the other ones are, of course, still locked. So now if I protect the sheets, the only cell I'm gonna be able to edit is this one. So now if I edit this, that still works. And of course, I can do this type in this cell also. 2500, that works too. But if I try to edit in here, so that does work. And that concludes this demonstration. Thank you for watching.